Hey YouTube, Captain Tech here. This video is a response to some of the questions I got on my previous video on how to add videos in Squarespace without YouTube. And one of the questions I got a lot is, once you add this video on your website, is there a way to have some sort of thumbnail image um, before the video is played? Um, and in fact there is, and I'd love to walk you through that right now. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, I do recommend watching the previous video on how to add those videos before watching this one. So if you haven't, that video link will be in the video description below. Um, otherwise, let's go ahead and get started. So really, as a quick overview, there's two parts of this process similar to my previous video. So the first part, we're gonna upload a uh, really like a button that's going to contain a link to that image and store it on our website in a place that our end users won't be able to see it. And then the second part is within that HTML code that we're using to uh, inject into the website, there's going to be a little piece where we're going to have to modify that essentially links to that image um, sort of on our, uh, on our links page. So let's go ahead and begin that process. I am on my download section um, of my website, which is not visible to users. And this is really part one where we're gonna be linking or really uploading our image. So what I'll go ahead and do here is click on one of these buttons here to add a button. And then once I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this gear icon here under a link. And we're gonna go ahead and upload a file, which will be our image. So I'll click on this upload files thing here. I'll click on this particular image here that I want. It's gonna upload. Then we'll need to make sure we check it to make sure it's selected. And then we'll click on save here in the left corner. And now we'll click on done here in the left corner as well. And now whenever we click on this new button we just created, it should actually link to that image we had before. And now we can go ahead at the very top and copy this URL because this is what we're gonna be using later within our HTML code. Now let's go ahead and get started on the second part of the process, which is actually you know, embedding the video on the website with a little bit of a tweak to the code we looked at last. Um, I will have this updated code in the video description below, um, so no need to, to type this out. Um, and one thing you'll notice as a difference to what you may have seen in the previous video is this poster uh, section here. And this is where we're actually going to link to um, the URL we just created. So. Let's go ahead and one more time, we'll go ahead and copy that image URL and we'll go ahead and put it right here. And as before in the previous video, um, we learned how to upload videos and we'll go ahead and actually put that video URL both here and also here. So now that we filled out this HTML code, we can go ahead and wrap this up by finalizing the last step of the process which is really just inserting this HTML code on the part of the website that we want the video to appear. So in my case, I'll go to my abouts page here. As before, we'll have to click on edit to add a HTML block. So we'll go ahead and hover our mouse here until we see one of these pluses. We will select code. We'll clear out this hello world stuff here. And now we can paste our code we just typed out and you can actually see that preview image, that thumbnail there. Let me go ahead and click on save. So now you'll notice that the video will have that thumbnail image. And of course, as, as soon as I click on it, the video will start. So I hope this video hey, was YouTube. helpful. Yeah. If it was, please let me know. Your feedback is super important. It lets me know whether or not these videos are helpful. Uh, and in fact, that's the whole reason why I created this video. So um, if it was helpful, please let me know, like, comment, subscribe. And with that, thanks for watching.